Hi, welcome to this uh, QV report tutorial. In this QV report tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the um, report wizard. Uh, that's a very powerful tool to create a report from scratch. Uh, the report wizard is going to guide you from A to Z in the creation of a very basic report that you can clearly customize at the latest stage. So, um, how to create a, a report using the the report wizard. First you click on new project up here, so we'll give it a name, we'll call it a uh, demo and a project is created, you see now the project is listed here on the right in the projects list. Well a, a project is basically a collection of reports in the language of QV reports. So now we're going to populate this uh, project list with at least one report and uh, to create this report we're going to use the report wizard. So how to start, well we click on new report and uh, from the three options we select clearly report wizard. The report wizard starts, well uh, the first um, the first thing that we have to make sure is to uh, close the clickb file that we want to use as source uh, for, uh, for the, the, the report creation uh, before proceeding. Well my file is closed, the file that I intend to use so I can click on next. Moving to the next slide, well it's time now to select the click view document I want to use. I'm going to use uh, a one click view file that's, uh, that's stored in this folder, which is the demo folder within the, uh, the, click, the QV report installation folder. All right? I'm going to click, click view opens the file for me, and QV report is going to show me all the well first it asks me whether the document is password protected or not I can click I can click no and proceed so QV report is showing me all the sheets within that QVW file I decide to use this sheet because I want to use data coming from this particular sheet I click next and now I'll move on to all the objects within that particular sheet I select uh, TB customer that's the object I want to use and uh, from here I can either apply some selections, I can activate selections directly from the fields within that particular object, well I'm not interested in doing that, or I can recall a bookmark of selections uh, which is clearly a bookmark that's stored within my click view file. Well I'm not very interested in doing that as well. So oh, I'm not going to apply selections but I could have. Uh, I click next and uh, you know it's time to export uh, data from ClickView into QV Pro into QV report. Well, the number of records that are going to be processed is 78, and uh, well, I, I'm going to assign a name to my report, and I'm ready to export data. That's quite quick. Uh, I'm ready to move on. Now it's time to assign a data type for each and every data column the QV report found within the ClickView file. Uh, by default, the data type assigned to data columns is string, but I can clearly change that. Well, in this case, um, I think string fits the purpose for, for all the data columns, so I'm going to leave it like that. Well, I can just change customer ID, maybe, yeah, and make it an integer. I'll save this, and uh, I click next. So I got four fields that are available for me to be displayed in the report. I'm going to add them all and I move to the next slide. Well here I can decide uh, in which way I, I intend to see uh, my data within the report. Well in my case I think I, I want customer ID to be uh, the main level uh, to visualize my data. I click on next. Well some basic uh, layout definitions. Well I can change these at a later stage anyway but you know it could be still useful to start uh, to start from here and decide how my report is going to look. Uh, again, um, I can assign a template to the, to the layout and finally the title that is going to, the, the, to be displayed in the grid. Well, I'm finished. So the report wizard has created this report for me which is quite basic but you know it, it uh, basically it has everything that takes. I mean, um, I've been able to pull out data from a ClickView file and connect it to objects 
within the report. Clearly, I can customize this report uh, big time. I can use all the all the toolbox, all the objects in the toolbox here from the from the left, and um, I can really play with it and just you know change colors and uh, and everything. But you know, I, I just showed you how, how 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 easy it is to create a report from scratch using the report wizard, connecting some connecting Q report to data coming from a ClickView file and make it available for uh, a report for, um, for all the objects displayed in the report within the grid.